Hello, middle school. As Dr. Hall just said, my name is Tres Monroe. And today, I'm going to talk to you about an important topic, being prepared. I know you're all thinking, what? Trez, being prepared? <laughs> well, that may be completely true, but I know a lot about this topic, so I'm going to share that with you today. Being prepared for something is a major part of everybody's life. In life, you have to be prepared for everything and anything. Homework, sports, projects, and even chapels. Pretty much everything that's important to you. It's necessary that you do, because if, you do, if you're not prepared, bad things can happen like this. When you don't prepare for your math test, you get stressed. When you get stressed, you go outside for fresh air. When you go outside for fresh air, your crush walks by. When your crush walks by when you're stressed, you pee your pants. When you pee your pants at school, you run to the bathroom. When you run to the bathroom at school, there's bullies waiting there. When there are bullies in the bathroom, you get beat up because you peed your pants. What a loser. You peed your pants! Don't get beat up in the bathroom because you peed your pants. Be prepared for your math test. When you don't prepare for your math test, I would like to thank Gene, Charlie, Dr. Hall, and the fifth grade boys for helping me. In that video, a troubled boy wasn't prepared for his math test, and some bad things happened. If he was prepared, things would have gone a little bit better. Things he could have done were go in for extra help and find people that could help him. People can always help you, like coaches, teachers, and even friends. Always look for people that can help you prepare. And at a place like Montgomery, they want to see you, they want to see you be prepared and succeed. Another great source for helping you prepare is the internet, if, of course, you use the right sources. Always be looking out for things and people that will help you prepare. For the last three years, I played for Coventry Lacrosse and played on the B team for those three years. In those three years, I didn't do much more than going to schedule practices to get better. But last year, at the end of the season, my coach showed us to prepare for the season and try to make the A team. I realized that I could seriously improve my game by preparing myself. So I did a summer league, a fall league, and went outside and practiced almost every day. I went outside on, on my lax wall, <laughs> switching left hand and back to my right hand. This year I made the A-team because I prepared myself for the season. That's why I think this topic is so important, because if you pr prepare yourself for what's to come, I, know, I have no doubt that you will succeed. Preparing yourself is like practicing or training for something, and everyone says practice makes perfect. Preparing is also like studying for a test, especially final exams are coming, that are coming up. And I know we all need to prepare for that, especially Mr. Shellhorn's tests. This next video is a Powerade commercial, and it is a professional soccer player explaining how training yourself can make you better. I always have the dilemma of how you play is how you train. The training is, first of all, I think it's the base of De, del futbolista, de lo que hace, de cómo, cómo se siente. Por lo tanto, el entrenamiento es primordial, hacerlo bien, cuidarse, hacer todo para, para estar en, en las mejores condiciones para a la hora de jugar. Por lo tanto, el entrenamiento pienso que es la parte básica de, del futbolista. Unfortunately, we cannot prepare for everything. A couple of years ago, my dad suffered from a heart attack. My family was so unprepared for an event like this. We all eat healthy and work out. And my dad is kind of a muscle man, so he does work out every day. The doctor said it was hereditary, since my grandfather had quadruple bypass as well. We were not prepared for an event like this to take place. It hit our family hard, but we got right back on our feet, especially my dad. When my dad got back from the hospital, he couldn't do everything he could before the heart attack. He couldn't drive because the seatbelt would put too much pressure on his chest. He, couldn't, he also couldn't work out because he couldn't work his heart, his heart as hard as he could before. You can never prepare for the unexpected, but you have to work as hard as you can to recover. Now my dad can do the things he could do before his heart attack. He's back to his normal self, and now with medicine 
and paying more attention to his health, he feels more prepared for an emergency like that to happen again. Another example we were not prepared for was 9-11. But now no one can get through an airport with even a bottle of water. Security is very tight and procedures have changed. Something the whole eighth grade just prepared for was, eight, was the eighth grade pranks. Especially Mari and Brian, who, went to, who they even went to Mr. Conklin and set up times for us to do the pranks. They, propelled, they prepared well and it showed. The pranks were awesome, especially Dr. Halsey. Sometimes preparing won't prepare you. Sometimes what you have to do to prepare is to do it. I'm going to high school next year, hopefully, and Montgomery has taught me everything I know about high school. But the only way I'm really going to be prepared for high school is to go to high school and experience what it really is. Moving forward, I hope you all prepare yourselves for what's to come. Preparing yourself is very important, and we all need to prepare. I'm now going to end with a quote by Dwight Eisenhower. Plans are worthless. Planning is essential. Thank you.